morning from California or I guess whatever time it is where you live right now. It is 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm starting the day with some hot water and lemon because it's fantastic at detoxing the body, kickstarting the metabolism, clearing out the skin, etc, etc. Talking about skin, I have been getting messages on Instagram asking for my most updated skincare routine, so I decided to do just that for you. I'm going to break um, my routines into, two, of course, morning and nighttime. Um, nighttime will follow shortly, and although I kind of change products relatively often, simply because I love exploring new products, trying out new things, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, see how something does on my skin, there are several staples that have been with me for quite some time, so I'm really happy to bring those to you because they have literally changed the condition of my skin, and no matter what what I change to, realistically, these pieces will continue to stay. I don't foresee changing them anytime soon just because I love them and I see a difference in my skin. But anyway, if you are here for the first time, it's really nice to meet you. I hope that you will join us, cool kids, cool older kids. But who's counting? And if you're back, I appreciate you so much. I love you. Thank you for being here. And let's skip this damn intro and get into the skincare. Okay, so in my late 20s to early 30s, I used to only rinse my skin with water in the morning because I didn't want to strip it of its natural oils. As my skin has been changing with getting older and such, I've noticed that my chances of actually getting acne really are reduced if I personally use a very, very gentle cleanser in the morning. So I have two things that I, that I have options of doing in the morning before using my toner. Either A, I wash my face with a very gentle cleanser, or B, I rinse my skin with warm water and then I do this little oxygen mask. So one of these two is really my go-to, depends on how my skin is doing that day. Today my skin is so dehydrated from this damn weather that I'm gonna go with the mask. But anyway, one of these two, I'm gonna link everything below by the way, one of these two before my toner. So I'm gonna go rinse out and be right back. Ignore the mess in the background, by the way, we are moving, so it's kind of a shit show over here. So I made sure to remove any traces of skincare products used from the night before. I have my skin semi-damp right now, and I'm gonna go in with a Pixie Glow O2 Oxygen Mask, and I'm going to apply this very generously all over the face, just kind of avoiding the eye area, of course, and not getting it in my mouth. You can see it's already bubbling up. I love it. And I'm gonna leave this for about five to 10 minutes. You know, you can do morning stuff, like I don't know, make the bed, get your cup of coffee ready, and then just rinse this out. Oh, I have so much packing to do. Oh, feeling ready for the day. Now it doesn't matter if the cleanser or the mask that I'm using that day has a pH that is relatively close to skin's pH, which is about five and a half. Um, I will still use a toner because generally speaking, we've been conditioned to think of toner just as that extra tool that you can use to balance your skin's pH. If you used a cleanser that was either higher or lower in pH, you want the pH level of your skin to be very neutral, to be around the same as it should be and help your skin thrive. However, recently, or I mean, not recently, but just like from the beginning of the year, I have learned about something in the Korean beauty culture, which you know I follow very closely and I get inspired by. But I've learned of such thing called the seven skin method. And essentially what Korean beauties do is they look at toner not just as a tool to balance your skin's pH, but also as a first step of hydration. And they call it seven because they literally apply toner seven times in a row. Now your skin has to be able to handle some shit if it can take on seven layers of toner half the time. I don't even even have the amount of time to do it. Uh, my skin is really not that uh, to be able to handle it anyway, but I am working my way toward that and I'm at number four right now. So um, I encourage you to give it a try. I started to just instead of using a cotton ball or a cotton pad and just, you know, doing this with your toner, instead put some on the palm of your hands, you know, rub it into the skin or better yet, tap it into the skin, give it like 30 seconds to kind of seep in and then go in with the second layer. Um, and do that until you work your way up and you feel like your skin can handle it and you can actually feel and see your skin being more hydrated, which has been the case since I started this technique. So what I do is that I grab my hydrating toner from PCA Skin. It has this little pump, which kind of annoys me because I, again, I don't use it with a cotton pad. So I have to like pump a few times and then pour it in, oh, into my palm and then just tap. 
I go all the way down my cleavage as well, my neck, kind of back of the neck as well. Leftover product on the back of my hands, I give it 30 seconds and repeat. So let's do this, I have three more times. Now this is when the really exciting part starts because I'm about to go into treatments and serums and that's really where the value, the core value of the skincare routine comes in. Now, your sister did something pretty amazing. So, <clears throat> I have been using this skincare brand for months and months and months and months. I decided to go to Arizona to their corporate office, talk to their people, see who their formulator is, how they stabilize their products, what kind of molecules they're using in their stuff, where they get the ingredients from. Girl, I was all up in their business because I was really falling in love with the brand and I really wanted the transparency. And when they were willing to offer me that, I was like, holy crap, you are the next generation of skincare company because most companies are not that transparent. I I have learned. Now about a month ago when they reached out to me and said, hey, we really appreciate the fact that you love and rave about our brand, which by the way, they've never paid me to do. They send me products here and there, but mind you, I get hundreds of products every single month and you don't see me posting about those. So I post about them because I really like them. So when they said, we love that you love the brand, we love the fact that your audience is very skincare driven and particularly into getting results from their skincare products. So how about you curate four to five, and of course I went with five, products, your favorite products, or some of your favorite products, because I have more than five, but um, curate them into a little travel size, little group pouch thingy-me-jig. This way, your online friends can experience quite a few of our products without having to commit to a clinical strength price point, which is not drugstore. It's not even close. Like, here's drugstore price, here's clinical strength. But also, results results <laughs> so i was like uh, yeah and that is when uh, this little baby came to life there are five travel size products in here that i use every single morning they're my staples there are several ingredients here that are my staples that i've been using for years but particularly since using their brand with their stability with their molecules with their formulator that is when truly my skin has been getting the actual benefits of using those ingredients so let me show you what's hiding in here Ooh, girl we basically have five travel size products now they're saying that oh, right in the cleavage right in the cleavage so yeah there are about five travel size products in here they're saying on their website they can last anywhere between seven to ten days i think that they're being uber conservative and trying to set very low expectations because i'm on week two so i don't know what the seven to ten days is but i guess it really depends from person to person now all of these are amazing but two of them in particular have drastically changed the way my skin looks and feels in the couple of years that we've been kind of hanging out together i hope at least anyway that i've been doing this i have never steered you wrong so i need you to trust me that these two products are absolutely what your skin needs and as I move along through using them because I want to get going honey I'm going to explain why and which ones of course With travel sizes you want to apply a little bit at a time see exactly how much you need because you don't want to be wasteful you know what I mean There you go This product is my morning holy grail. I cannot tell you how powerful this is. And I like to apply leftover product that's on my fingers on my lips. Now I really like to give this vitamin C enough time to penetrate into the skin. So this is when you can normally make breakfast, maybe wake the kids up, I don't know, uh, read the paper, get back to your emails, read the paper, listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Get the news updates, etc. And just give it about like five minutes. Okay, we are back, wash the hands again, and it's time to move on to my second staple product. Now this is not only great for the morning time, but I also use it in the evening, so. Oh yeah. You can literally feel the skin being plumper and see it being more glowy. It's incredible. Now in my 20s, I would have moved on straight to the SPF, which is the fifth and final product. 
but in my mid 30s i don't have that luxury honey so i have to also go in with the moisturizer now because the moisturizer that i'm going to apply is very water-based i'm going to again give my skin like about three to five minutes to allow and absorb everything that i've just put on because i don't want that water consistency to kind of mix with everything i have on so i'm gonna give my skin another few minutes and then i'll be back with my moisturizer and my face massager which also is a game changer so I'll be back. Okay, moving on to the moisturizer and my face massager. So, for moisturization, I've been really loving two products, either the Tatcha the Water Cream or the Bosha Cactus Water Moisturizer. Typically, the Cactus Moisturizer, I use it in the PM, and the Tatcha Water Cream, I go for it in the morning. Um, but honestly, it changes, so I guess just depending on how my skin needs are that day, today my skin feels this, and that's what I'm going to show you. This process right here is fantastic, not only for stimulating blood flow, but also pushing product deeper into the skin and just sculpting a little bit. Because why not, girl? Gravity just tends to pull things downward, you know what I'm saying? Now you're probably going to think I'm crazy, but on days when I have time, I actually use two sunscreens. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but after I give everything just another minute to seep into the skin, I go in with the SPF sunscreen because it has a broad spectrum of 45. And then I just, I don't know, I get dressed and all that jazz. And before I put on my makeup, I actually go in with the Tatcha Silk and Pore Perfecting Sunscreen as well. This has a lower SPF. It's an SPF of 35. It doesn't matter anyway. It's above 30, which is great. But it has a pore kind of minimizing blurring effect with a matte finish. And I have pores now in my mid-30s, which they came literally when I turned 31. I was like, boom, pores. I was like, what? Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm laughing because it is what it is, you know? But anyway, this kind of helps blur their look. And so before I put on makeup, I find that just kind of doubling up on the SPF as well as kind of blurring the pores is working for me. So yeah, I'm going to double up on this SPF and move on. Now I want you to keep in mind that I'm showing you in this video the travel size products just because I'm really proud and happy of this collaboration but in real life I'm actually using their you know full length products. That wraps up today's video. I hope you got something of value out of it, learned something new and if nothing else got inspired to best take care of your skin. How you treat your skin today is how your skin is going to look when you're my age or older. So trust me on that. Follow me on Instagram for lots of beauty and skincare tips and tricks and videos and threads and just a lot of content that I know you're going to love. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you and appreciate you so much for being here. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see from me. A PM a routine will follow shortly. And yeah, I love you and appreciate you very much. Take good care of your skin and I'll see you soon. Bye.